Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily tarot. So today we're going to be taking a look into you and your person. Now, your person could literally be anybody, okay? That could be a friend, an ex-friend, a work colleague, ex-work colleague, member of your family, uh, a potential love or a current love, okay? It could literally just be anyone who you're dealing with specifically at this point in time, okay? We're going to be taking a look at your energy towards them, your present feelings towards them, how you see them. Then we're going to look at your person's energy towards you their present feelings towards you and how they see you at this time and of course we are going to be taking a look at the overall issue within the connection uh, the challenges and we will be pulling some advice and healing messages as well okay right so what is going on for our collective please between them and their person what is going on for our collective Okay, King of Coins. So you're cutting energy towards the person that you're thinking of or the person that you're dealing with at this time is the King of Coins energy. Now, again, don't focus on gender. Okay, there is no gender in tarot. This is all about security, stability, uh, long-term growth, long-term commitments. Okay, um, so you, I mean, your energy towards them is coming off as being very serious. So maybe... Maybe this is a situation that you would like to see growing. And in fact, he's dressed in what looks like some kind of military uh, military clothing, military regalia. I don't know if you're in the military or if they're in the military or something like that. Um, but it shows an energy of seriousness, of determination as well. Okay, your present feelings towards them, the Page of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay, um, you feel hurt by this person or you feel betrayed by this person. Okay, uh, so it's a bit of a jump then, isn't it? Because you've literally gone from the King of Coins, which is a very stable, secure energy, to the Page of Wands and the Three of Swords, which is hurt, disappointment. Um, I feel with this one that this is actually saying that you either were or you currently are incredibly generous towards whoever it is that you're dealing with. Uh, you were very much focused on being a provider for them. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you're, you are or you were the one that was, um, providing the, the, the finances and the security through finances for this person you probably helped them out quite a lot here financially um as well as in other ways as well okay because again it's like king of coins energy is the provider it's about prosperity generosity uh, wealth the leadership you know there's someone who is financially successful but they're also um independently successful as well you know so it's like th there's a lot of growth to you or perhaps you had to um go through a lot of lessons with this person or you know you're currently going through a lot of lessons with this person that you're dealing with uh finding ways of how uh, of how to be more independent maybe um, but again, it's like this King of Coins, that's someone who's very grounded, very mature uh, and self-made as well. So again, I, f I feel that you have been incredibly generous um, to to this other person that, that's in your energy. Uh, because again, it's like it's such a jump, isn't it, from the King of Coins to this Page of Wands, Three of Swords. Um, and it's, it's like even this Page of Wands, that can be a very excitable energy. You know, your Page of Wands is usually someone very flirty, very fun, um, someone who's like, uh, well, definitely very lovable, uh, very, very cheeky. I mean, your Page of Wands, it, it's a stark contrast to this energy here, basically. Let me just put it that way. Because um, your, your Page of Wands is someone who is full of new ideas, someone who is... Um, really enthusiastic about everything that they approach, you know, enthusiastic about life as well. So, I mean, 
to get this with the three of swords as to your present feelings towards them is really, really curious to me. So this person has recently or has in the past, again, how, however this energy is written, um, there is hurt here that is caused by this particular person, like you, you genuinely hurt by them. Now, this could be saying that this individual um, maybe took your enthusiasm for life, you know, may, maybe before you met them or before, like if this is someone that you grew up with, um, maybe you used to be someone who is very uh, spunky, very jolly, very creative, you know, uh, very excited about life. And it feels to me that you're holding this other person responsible for like sapping your enthusiasm out of life do you know what i mean that's that's the only way that these two can possibly be coming out in that kind of combination to be honest it's do you know what i mean because it's such a weird energy it's like yeah wh when you were younger you, you were full of life full of enthusiasm full of new ideas and then this individual basically was shitting on everything that you did, crapping all over your hobbies, you know, poking fun out of everything that you enjoyed in life, um, to the point where you felt that perhaps maybe you had to uh, pull back a bit or maybe regress a bit. Okay, because it's, it's a jump, isn't it, from the king to the page. It is quite a significant jump uh, backwards, I want to say. Um, okay, let's find out more. How, how does I have a collective see this person, please? It could be as well that this is a situation where you had high hopes for you and them. And it never worked out the way that you wanted it to. Okay, how you see them, the six of coins. So you see this person as basically being fair to others, but not being fair to you. So that there's a huge discrepancy here between the way that this other person treats other people and how they treat you. Because clearly this person treats you really quite awful, you know, very badly with, with that three of swords being there. But when it comes down to how they treat others, they, they seem to treat others kindly. They, they seem to be generous to other people. Okay, yeah, the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Rejuvenate, reevaluate, reconsider. Um, take a moment to pause and reflect. Okay, so so you need to pause and reflect on the dynamics of this particular relationship. Okay, what is this person's energy towards our collective, please? What is this person's energy towards our collective? <clears throat> this person's energy. Okay, the Empress. Interesting, because your Empress energy came out scattered. Okay, Mother of the Tarot. It's come out off balance. This could be a situation with your mother or with a mother figure. A mother of your child as well, it could be, okay? Just a mother. I suspect for some of you that this is going to be your actual mother. And with it coming out off balance, it's showing me that they were not, they, they, they were not, how, how am I going to word this? They were not the mother that they should have been because it came out off balance. Or at least they were not the mother that they should have been specifically to you. And maybe you see this mother treating everyone else in your family a shitload better than how they were or are treating you 
and you're trying to make sense of it. Well, what's wrong with me? Why, why, can't, why can't they love me the way that they love everyone else in the family? Why can't they be, be kind and nurturing and generous to me the way that they are with everyone else in the family? There could be something like that that's going on here. What is this person's feelings towards our collective, please? Thank you. Three of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Okay. It's showing me that this mother figure, their, their whole thing, it seems to be that they were trying to punish you which is why they treated you so differently from everyone else. And this is where we're going to end up losing quite a lot of people because obviously they're, they're not going to be resonating with this. This is categorically someone's mother who has been cruel and narcissistic towards you specifically but then when it comes down to everyone else is kind loving generous sings their praises couldn't do any more for them but when it comes down to you it's like ugh, you know it's that kind of throwaway mentality throwaway attitude yeah and you are absolutely correct collective this mother or this mother figure absolutely did hold others to high esteem and they put you way, way down. Absolutely, yes. They, they did choose others over and above you. And that is a fact. Three of cups, five of cups and the eight of cups. I need to find out more. This is a very strange reading. It's a very specific reading. And I'm absolutely going to have to ensure that I give this reading a very specific title. Because, of course, not everybody is going to be resonating with this. Can you tell us more about that Three of Cups, please? Thank you. Yeah, nine of coins off balance. So this mother's main problem or mother figure's main problem with you is that they're saying with this energy, oh, you never needed me. Oh, you never wanted me. Oh, it was you that rejected me. And it's all, it's all projection, basically. Okay, with this nine of coins off balance. This mother or mother figure was or is incredibly frivolous when it comes down to relationships in general, okay? This person only puts efforts and energy and time into other people where they feel that they're being worshipped, basically. Clarify the Five of Cups, please. Thank you. Yeah, the world with the Seven of Swords. Mm hmm World with the Seven of Swords. Guard against deceit and concealment, dishonesty, betrayal, strategy, tactics, trickery. This mother or mother figure has an incredibly low self-esteem. And I feel that, that your fierce independence was somehow a threat to them, which is why you were singled out. You, you were definitely singled out by this mother or mother figure because of your independence because you were never dependent upon them. But the thing is, your energy is saying, at one point, of course, yes, I did need them. But they were never there for me. They were never available for me. 
The world is a cycle coming to an end. Okay, it, it's definitely a completion. Is you being recognized for something? And it's a mastery as well. Because it's the end of a cycle. It's like you've mastered something. I feel that this individual over here has actually spread lies about you as well. Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. Well, thank you. The Devil. Of course it is. The, the lie that they're telling everybody is basically you abandoned them when the truth is they abandoned you. Eight of Cups to the Devil. This person kept you very, very small, very, very limited. They tried to render you powerless also. But they never actually accomplished that. You see, this one likes to have power over others. They will only invest time in those who they can lord it over. Okay. And they could never lord it over you. It's showing that, that you would never allow them to dictate to you in the way that they were dictating to others. So you've definitely been pushed out here. Eight of Cups to the Devil. So they've pushed you out. Could have been they pushed you out of the family. And then they've told everyone else that... that you just, you, you chose to leave. And that's not the truth at all. Okay. Very, very toxic. Very toxic person. How does this mother or mother figure see our collective, please? Thank you. Five of Wands. Argumentative. Five of Wands, that they see you as being someone that is really quite a formidable character. Two of Cups, interesting, and the Emperor. They, this person actually sees that you're doing really well in life. Really, really well in life. And they definitely felt threatened by you, by your presence, by your energy. This person knows that they could never actually compete with you. And that's what their major, major problem was. So where you've been sitting there going, well, what the hell is wrong with me? The fact that they are incapable of loving me, of treating me with any kind of respect at all. What is it about me that's so quote-unquote wrong? And their energy saying, I could never compete with you. I, I could never match up to you. So that's why they had to push you out. Do you know what I mean? They had to push you out. So that they, they only put energy, not just towards those that are going to put them on a pedestal, not just towards those that they can lord it over, um, but they also put time and energy into those where they see reflections of themselves within those other people. So what Spit is saying is, do you know what, Collective? C consider yourself lucky that this mother or this mother figure pushed you away. They pushed you away because they, they couldn't see anything that within you that they could connect with. Because remember, what's inside of them is the devil energy. The devil energy is inside of them. And there was nothing within you that they could identify with. So they get along better with people who are more like them. 
Does that make sense? Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands and Justice. Yeah, they were definitely threatened by you. Now, this mother or mother figure, it's not necessarily going to be your mother. Okay, that this could be, say, if you had that special person in your life, which everybody has had or has got a special person in their life. Say if then <clears throat> either you or that special person, you know, you use parted ways and you have moved on with your lives and they've gone on and had like a new family someplace else well that could be the mother or mother figure of their new family that's seeing you as a threat so it's like the, the the new partner of an ex type thing it could also be that energy as well okay i'm picking up on that for a small handful of use because you've got the ace of cups the nine of swords and the queen of wands with justice so, so this energy over here is um, at night time sitting there heavily procrastinating about someone else being with you or someone else being in love with you, which they find very, very threatening. Justice and the Five of Swords, yeah. As clear as day, whoever this mother or mother figure is, they are in competition with you. There is no question about it. No question about it at all. Can you clarify this uh, Three of Swords, please? Thank you. The Moon off balance. That's like deep, deep feelings that you keep really well hidden. So this reading might be very, very triggering for you, Tower, at the bottom of the deck. Because these feelings, as far as you're concerned, are so deeply hidden, are so well hidden from everyone else around you, that it's almost like it doesn't exist at all. Only you know that it's there, and this is something that you don't discuss. This is something that you don't openly discuss. So this reading itself could well be that tower moment where you receive a lot of triggers and a lot of uh, epiphanies that are going to contribute to your healing. Recognizing that you are loved, you are lovable, and you were always worthy of love, even in the face of this person failing to give that to you. The truth be told, this individual is incapable of love. They're very, very good at pretending. They're very good at pretending. But true, true love, they'll never experience that. They won't. So they're also saying, Spirit's telling you guys, it's not just you. It's not just you that they do this to. It would seem to be, though, that you're the only one that is questioning it. That's the major difference. And tell us more. Thank you. Yeah, the star. That's why you're questioning it. Because you, you're processing it. You, you're desperate to heal from it. Okay. Okay. Spirit's also saying with this one, look, you have come so, so far on your healing journey. Now you're at the stage where all of your dreams are about to start coming true. And the more that you dive into your feelings surrounding this situation, the more actually that you're going to heal. It is going to require you facing that darkness that comes with the moon. Okay. Caused by the Devil and the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups, the Five of Cups. 
this person made you feel useless this person probably made you feel ugly or maybe they even told you that as well and then they tell everyone else how beautiful or how handsome they are and do you know what i mean because remember this person only clicks with those that they can see that familiar spark within and they couldn't see any of that familiar spark within you that's why you were singled out and aren't you glad of that aren't you glad that you're nothing like this person or at least you should be you should be very glad that you're nothing like this person you wouldn't want to be liked or loved by this person because then that would mean that they see something within you that is familiar to them does that make sense they don't like you because of your energy, because of your, your goodness. You've got the star where they've got the devil. Does that make sense? So for you to feel differently about yourself because of the way that this person treated you, that's not the way to go. Spirit's telling you that that's not the way for healing. That's, that's, you're thinking about it wrong. If you start looking at yourself and going, you know what, I fucking hate myself, this, that and the next, um, because of the way that this person's treated you, you you'd be going about it wrong. Okay. You've got to look at your source of information. And your source of information is the fucking devil energy. You do not want to be taking any advice or any criticism off of somebody like that. You genuinely don't. You genuinely don't. Tell us more, please. Row a collective, thank you. Yeah, the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. Which is absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy. Because it indicates a recovery. It indicates a strong recovery. Regeneration. You're going through a rebirth. That's why there have been or there will be some emotional triggers for you over the next few days surrounding this mother or mother figure. There's going to be some deep, deep emotional triggers. And it's all part of your healing and your recovery. Okay. There's also energies of uh, improvement with the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. And to back that up, you've got the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So all of the enthusiasm that this person sapped or bullied out of you, all of that zest for life, all of that curiosity, that innocence for life, all the things that, that you were interested in, all the things that you were amazing at, you're going to be rediscovering all of that over the next few days, I feel. Because of that deep, deep, intense healing energy. And remember, with the healing, it, it's gonna, it is painful. It's going to look uh, quite disastrous at first. But then once you start going through the process and rebuilding yourself, that's when you're going to be able to look back and go, do you know what? I came out of that. I came out of that. And actually, I'm a bloody good person. I am a good person. And you will see the logic behind this devil energy making a star feel like they were a monster. You're going to see the truth behind why that was. Okay, you will. And you're going to start feeling more energized about life again. See the overall issue here, please. For our collective. See the overall issue. Thank you. Six of Swords and the Five of Coins. Of course it is. The overall issue this energy making you feel like you were not good enough. Yeah, death at the bottom of the deck. So you could be, or you could be dealing with, 
heavy Pisces energy, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus, Libra. Okay, you could be, but you don't have to be, right? You've got a lot of the signs out, but they're the more uh, forward signs. They're, they're the more dominant signs, okay? The overall issue is there is something to do with repressed memories, for whatever reason, are being triggered this week. Things that you thought you'd forgotten about, things that you thought that you had made peace with, to do with this person, is going to be triggered and it's going to be pulled to the forefront this week. And Spirit's asking for you to be patient and gentle with yourself while you work through it, okay? This person, quite frankly, left you in this Five of Coins energy. You were abandoned, you were pushed out, you were left out, you were forgotten about. Like, there's no question of that. And that that is the exact issue. So it's vital that you do not repeat these patterns, that you do not repeat this behavior towards yourself. That is vital, okay? Absolutely vital. Don't continue this five of coins energy just because that's what they did to you. You've got to start growing from this now. Okay. Death, growth, liberation, freedom of spirit. It's time for a rebirth. It's a challenge here, please. Thank you. The challenge, Queen of Cups self-acceptance your challenge this week your homework this week is to work on that self-acceptance that self-forgiveness that self-love that's your challenge this week your challenge this week is to be everything that they are not to be the person that they're not, to be the parent that they're not, to be the caregiver that they're not, and to do it genuinely from the heart. They're saying it starts with you. Okay, let's see advice here, please, for our collective. Advice, look. Do you see? The devil with the page of wands off balance. So that page of wands is crossing it. So this is saying, do not let them win. Do not let them win. The things that they took from you, which was everything that we described there, because it's, it's the same, same card, it's the same energy. Everything that they took from you, it's time for you to give that to yourself now, okay? That's your advice. Don't run from these inner demons, if you will, that they put in your head. Don't run from it. Work through it, okay? Find, finding the goodness within you that this individual either failed to see or failed to acknowledge. It is your responsibility now to make sure that you see that goodness within yourself. Okay. That is your responsibility. Six of Cups. It's someone from your childhood. It's someone from your past. Okay. Past memories, yeah. Three of Wands. Make plans for the future. Um, move, move something forward. This, this is progress. And King of Cups energy under there. I'm telling you, something from the past is going to be a, a trigger this week. And it's going to be for you to 
Regulate your emotions throughout this process. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It could well be that this individual or someone connected to this individual is going to reach out and contact you this week. And that could end up pulling these old demons back up, if you will. Okay. It could end up making you feel like that vulnerable, helpless child once again. Again, definitely keep an open mind, okay? There's preparation. There's a message about preparation with this Three of Wands. And I feel that Spirit's saying, be prepared to take a journey on an emotional level. Mm. Can you have a healing message for our collective, please? Thank you. Deep freeze, yeah. Take that time to pause and reflect with deep freeze. Number 26, and that, that actually reduces into an eight, which is about advancement and evolution. So you're going through this evolution process. Okay, it says everything has its season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. The cold winter beckons for you to slow down and to put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It is time for regeneration and hibernation. Forgo any ambitious activity and take a pregnant pause. That allows ideas to gestate and projects to shift and change and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, but also not needing to. This is also a time to put all of your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now, so reflect, read a good book or get a massage. Rest and dream. Okay. Basically, it's saying that life and the spirit is wanting for you to take a break right now, okay? They do not want you to be overextending yourself, overexerting yourself. They're, they're wanting for you to take a pause, take a breather, take a rest. It's literally the deep freeze energy. So, yeah, if this is someone connected to that person there that's contacting you this week, Spirit's also saying, look, see with that, you, you don't have to do anything there, okay? Just take time to, to focus on your needs and to, to look after yourself. Okay, right, so we're going to uplift the energy by pulling a cheeky deck. Now, obviously, if you're allergic to swearing or sarcasm, then you don't have to listen, okay? Um, this is just, you know, it's just a bit of fun at the end of the read. Right, life would be a lot more fun if everyone's middle name was <laughs> motherfucking. <laughs> Make today fun by silently inserting motherfucking into the name of everyone you come into contact with. Ben motherfucking Franklin. <laughs> Grandpa motherfucking Bob. That lady from accounting. Well, she's now Carol motherfucking Cooper from accounting. Yo. <laughs> Somehow this makes those financial spreadsheets more bearable, right? It's going to be a great motherfucking day. <laughs> yeah. Um... That's fair enough. <laughs> that is what I have for you guys. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Uh, don't forget to go check out all of your other signs and the daily reads as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.